today we're talking to St Ormond City Manager Ian Allenson at a very chilly Clarence Park where the faithful were warmed up by an entertaining game which saw the Saints come back from an early goal down to defeat Slough Town 3-2. I thought Slough started really positively in, they looked strong, they got a deflected goal on 10 minutes and it looked ominous for us. But after that, particularly towards the end of the first half, we got on top, we created chances and that second half was our most attacking display for quite some while. Yeah, I think you, you, you have summed it up. I mean, I was disappointed with the goal, David, because I felt we started out off OK and their goal came from our corner and I didn't think we, we doubled up enough in terms of stopping the lad from getting the shot in. It did get a wicked deflection and it's ended up in the back of the net. Um, and then, you know, you go back to the to the Bath game and other games where we'd give cheap goals away early on and, it, and the reaction was very, really good. I was really pleased with the reaction in terms of the way we responded. Um, it took us a while to try and find the game, but once we got into it, then we really started to cause them some problems. And in the end, you know, if we hadn't got that goal just before half time, I'd have been really disappointed because I felt we got in two or three times. Counter Costa's got in once and, and, and probably should have done better than what he's done. We've had a couple go across the face of the goal. So it was nice to get that goal just on half time, and I felt that gave us that little bit of confidence we needed for the sort of 20 minutes of the second half where we went and put the game to bed. And then, as you say, we know we've given them a a cheap second goal from our point of view and it was like they had them over the last sort of seven or eight minutes there and uh, got a little bit scary but we've managed to see the game out and get three, po three points again and for me you know they were a good side for the way they play you know they've got a they've got a, a, a side that works extremely hard they, they work for their for their areas and they work for their set pieces and of course there's lots of problems today um, so but really pleased to come away with the three points. You mentioned Carl De Costa's chance there. He went through one on one. In the end, he went round in circles and didn't get a shot away. Solomon Sambo had a similar chance in the second half. He at least did have a shot. Maybe there's two chances there. We could have been a bit more clinical. Yeah, I think you did right. I mean, we did have opportunities there, especially at the important stages of the game because you know, it was one nil down when Cal had ease, and we were we were two one up. I think when Solomon had ease, so that puts us three one up. But David Moyo's got a, got us back to, in terms of going three one up. But I was just really pleased in terms of the chances we created we you know we had a lot of third man running today which has been good um, and, and I felt David Moyer led the line really really well but I thought the two set of halves they had a really tough game um, and Lewis got caution should I say um, very very quite early um, which left us a little bit on tender rooks in terms of you know one missed time tackle or, or or one or two challenges that weren't quite right you know leaves him on tender rooks and we can't afford to lose any players especially in this league um, but as I say, we're back to weather that last sort of 10 minutes and that was really, the, the last 10 minutes disappointed me because I didn't think we kept the ball very well. We just sort of started to hoof it up the pitch and, and looking to, for, for second balls and really never got hold of the ball. And I think if we'd have passed it a little bit more in that last 10 minutes, I think it would have, uh, we could have seen the game out a little bit more comfortable than what we did. Clovis Camjo seemed to get forward a bit more than in other games today, particularly the longer it went on, and rewarded with two goals. Yeah, I was pleased with Clovis. Obviously, it's taken him a while. I mean, the thing is with Clovis, he's, he, you know, he's had a whole year out. He's came in and, and, and got the calf injury, so he's missed another sort of two or three weeks. And then we've got him back in the side, and he plays a game, and then we have a two-week break. Then he plays a game, and we have a two-week break. So, you know, he really can't get any momentum going, which is which is he needs probably another sort of five or six games to get back to full match fitness. So, great, he got 90 minutes today. Great, he got two goals. And, and as you say, there was something we worked on during the week. Solomon's obviously got in there a few times, and, and Clovis has gone and got two goals. So I can't ask for any more than that. At the end of the day, you know, it's been a it's been a really frustrating two weeks since the Bath defeat, um, and that that took a long time to get over the Taunton and Bath in terms of. I think the players were down. You know, the the, the training session for the first week after that was 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 not good, um, but they picked up this week, and we worked hard from like last Saturday, and then obviously we played Ware here in a friendly on Tuesday, and then Thursday night we trained. So it's been good. It's been good from that side of it, but it's been hard to pick the boys up after after the Bath defeat, and we've picked up some injuries in training, which is crazy because you know innocuous injuries in terms of no one near anyone, and players are spinning and twisting and turning and going over and doing ankles, and uh, it causes a bit of a problem. Probably Tuesday night after the the friendly here, we ended up with with a squad for 12 players for today. We've managed to wrap up Zane Banton and, and Sam Merson and uh, Tom Bender. We bought it to bought um, Jason Banton in as well, which we needed yesterday because we were really at bare bones last week, last night. I'm sorry, last night, and then obviously, um, Rawson Gabriel's twisted his ankle as well in training. So you know, it, it, it's been a tough, tough two weeks. So we need to get all the injured players back and then start fresh.
Well, I'm sure most people are unaware of a friendly bed on Tuesday night with Ware down here at the park, and it sounds quite costly with those injuries. You say you brought in Jason Banton. What can you tell us about him? Well, he's a lad that's obviously got a good pedigree. He's, he, he's, he's local in terms of living in Tottenham, but he's... Um, Played 28 games for, for Woking last year in the conference. Um, he's gone to Torquay, played a lot of games from this year, but he's out of favour. So, you know, it works for us. He can play on either wing, he can play out front, or he can play in the hole. You know, with Ralston probably been away for another two weeks now with his injury. Um, Zane, it's, it's um, got a kick on the Achilles, which is still a little bit sore. And, and Sam Merson's had a, a, a quite a nasty injury to the to the calf and the side of the leg, which again, you know, both of them have wrapped themselves up to, to, to go on the bench today. Percy's struggling with a with an ankle injury, which hopefully should be fit for Tuesday. And as I say, Tom Bender did his ankle last Thursday week, so he hasn't trained until for probably an hour on Thursday night and came in and, and done a great job today at left back and got cramped in that last sort of seven or eight minutes. So, as I say, by not having games, we've picked up more injuries than we've done all bloody season, which is a frustrating side of it, but... As I say, we've got a squad there, and uh, as I say, we needed the game on Tuesday night because I didn't want to keep going two weeks and two weeks again before we got another game, and I felt that helped today in terms of the performance and in terms of the shape we did because uh, we changed the shape slightly today, uh, which I felt helped us. Yeah, it's, it's funny, I wouldn't say it's an air of doom, but um, certainly disappointment the way things have gone lately, letting in that early goal today. But here we are at the end of the game, 3 2 winners, back up to six in the table in the playoff places. And on Tuesday night, we're home to a new league leaders, Welling United. Yeah, I think there, there, there was a, a bit of air of, of gloom about the place, but I think that's because we haven't played any games. Um, I think we've played four, this is the fifth game we've played in October now, and we well, I'm literally the fourth, fourth Saturday in October, so it has been really frustrating from, from our point of view. And I think it's probably been frustrating from the supporters' point of view because, you know, we couldn't put anything right from the Taunton game and from the Bath game, and that was three, you know, nearly two and two and a half weeks ago, the Taunton game. And you see everybody else playing in the FA Cup last week, and all these teams getting great draws and getting on the TV, and and we're stuck out there doing nothing. You know, as I said before, you know, we had the debacle with with the FA in terms of who we were playing, who we weren't playing. Did we have a replay, or did we play Whiteleaf, or were we playing Corinthian Casuals? And I think the whole whole last five or six weeks has really been just a, just a total mess so it was nice to get back to playing today it was nice to get on the pitch i think it was nearly 800 people here again today wasn't it crowd wise so thank you to the supporters because they were superb today and without their help and their support you know we would struggle but they were great today uh, especially when we one nil down because you know they could quite easily turn if they feel there's going to be another defeat but i thought the players responded really well today um, they kept going and going and going they looked to try and, and, and win the game of football, you know, and that was a tough game. You know, mark, mark my word, that was a really tough game today, and we had to dig really deep to get something out of that, which was really positive in the end. And after 13 games in the playoff position, you'd have been happy with that in August, I suspect? I think we would, because as I said before, I felt we were behind in, the, in terms of what personnel we had this year. I didn't think we was as far forward this year as we was last year, uh, but I think where we are now, you know, the squad's as good as we've had for a long time, but... As I say, we are carrying these sort of three or four knocks, which is which is disappointing because you know we need a full side, um, and it's probably the first time for a long time as we go into a Saturday and a Tuesday in the league. It'd have been nice to have had a spare week this week, um, but we go Saturday, Tuesday, and then obviously we've got Dulwich next week, and then Chippingham, and then I think we go Torquay on the, on the 13th now. So it's going to be a tough, tough month. We know that. We know we're under no illusions with this league. What this league brings you. Um, there's some really good sides in it, some very good players in the league and uh, you know, we have to be at our best it seems every single week to, to win a game of football and I did say it in pre season there'd be a lot of 3-2s, 4-2s, 4-3s but we seem to have to score three goals every game to win a game of football and that's frustrating in some areas because we do have to improve defensively and stop teams scoring so, so many goals against us and, and particularly today because I didn't think the second goal was a very, very good goal. Does the team almost pick itself for Tuesday, or are a few who are on the bench today generally going to be will be fit for Tuesday night? Think. Well, no, I think uh, I think hopefully Zane Zane should be fit. Um, Jason obviously Banton's going to be going to be around now, and he, you know, he's met the players for the first time today because that's the first time he's seen them. Sam Merson should recover. He's still got a, a, quite a bruise on on the side of his leg, but hopefully he'll be he'll be okay. Percy. Again, it's 50-50 today, but you know we didn't risk him at all, so we have to see where he is in the next 72 hours. Uh, um, I say the only one, that we'll, well, the only two was Richard Show Silver and Ralston Gable will both be unfit for Tuesday night, um, and 
So we've got you know young Jacob done really well on Tuesday night here against um, against Ware. So yeah, we've got good options. Um, we've got to see where David Noble is in terms of his his fitness and his tightness. And so was, you know Tom Bender again. He's come off with cramp today, but his calf had really seized up by the time he walked off. So again, we've got to see where they are. I know Lewis Knight's got a bit of a kick on the, on, on his foot where he got cautioned in the first half. For, again, for me, an innocuous challenge, but. We just got to see where we are. I said we'll have a squad, we'll have a team, um, and just hopefully we can go out there and, and, and give it a good go. Lovely, thanks so much, Ian. So it's a 3 2 win for the Saints today against Slough Town. On Tuesday night, that's the 30th of October, home to new league leaders at Welling United, National League South. Kickoff at Clarence Park is at 7 45.